I'm gonna show. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to how a hydro hydrostatic pump from a lawnmower works. Right now, I have everything taken apart. This is dropped right out of the bottom of the lawnmower. Put the oil pan off, and I took that off so I can show you guys. It just comes right out after about 30 of these star shaped, which I just used a socket on. It works pretty well. And pretty much how it works is these go in and out like a pump action. But before, there's two of them. One back up in here. I would show you, but in order for me to show you, I have to have this on, which holds another one of these below, which is connected directly to the shaft. And the shaft spins in one direction. It's hard to turn. There's no oil in it, and see, that spins, which is one of these, and how it works is this this one back here is at an angle because of this. It's hard to see with this lighting in here, but this lever right here makes this at a different angle. Like this way is forward, and this way is reverse. And in between, that's flat, so there's no pumping action in between these. So, I mean, this one creates the pump, forces up into here, forces it into here, pushing these, turning it, which in turn turns this that sits right in here and it turns this whole thing so this when it's at an angle and it's spinning because of the engine it creates a pump which goes all the way up through here pushes the bottom ones spins it and it releases because it it's all the way up like up over here where it is and it keeps on doing that cycle now it's in reverse, all the way down. Or this way is forward, this way is reverse. It's hard to see because there's no lighting up in there. It does the opposite, which will make it spin backwards. So it'll give these ones power, which will force it up this way. These are just roller bearings that spin freely. There is a bunch of balls all the way up in here. That's what those ribs are to hold the balls in. I've had this whole thing out. This bolt right here, which I replaced with a different one, ended up getting completely stripped out. I mean, I had to use a breaker bar on all of these. A four-foot breaker bar, and I barely got it off. And they're just under so much pressure, you know, to hold this down because of the pump that I could barely get them off. This, I got these two off when I first took them off. And this one just did not come off. So I started drilling it out. And it's like grade 8, hardened steel, pin in the ass. So battery, or the drill went dead to Walt. Nice drill, though. It went dead. So I just started pounding on it to try to break it loose and then try it again. And it flattened out the top so I could get a new, another socket on there. And it broke off, broke free. So that's how a um, hydrostatic pump works on any lawnmower. That's pretty much the same design. I kind of found this neat, though. How if you spin this one this way, this one will turn the opposite way until it's under load. I mean, a lot of lawnmowers have it, but I just... And then if you, while it's going on, it's on a jack like it is. If I put this back in, this will set up back in. And held this one, that wheel would spin twice as fast. And this one I could hold still, just while the wheel's on. It's just, it's a, uh, it's mainly one wheel, it's not a solid differential in here. So that's how a uh, uh, hydrostatic pump works. It's on any lawnmower. Right now I'm turning it into a racing lawnmower. Um, I can't use hydrostatic, it don't work very well for racing. It doesn't, if this would spin that fast, it'd destroy it. 
So I just decided to have some fun with it and take it apart before I probably throw it back together without any oil in it and see what happens. Well, I suppose it won't work without any oil, but throw some oil in there and see how long it lasts. I mean, I took it all apart and half of it ended up on the floor tearing it apart. But, alright, thanks for watching.